Ah, it's a new season, and it's time to play some more Medieval Dynasty. Welcome back. It is I, Lord Dre of Flaxington. And today, I search for a noble steed. Because, yeah, we've been updated with some new stuff. Um, like horses. So, of course, we're gonna do that first, because I don't want to walk around anymore. I, I, I am a lord of these lands. I shouldn't have to use these feet at all, goddammit. So, yeah, we're gonna add... Oh, yeah, that's right. I think I'm maxed out, aren't I? Yeah, crap. Can horses live in buildings? Because I don't really want to get rid of anything else. Maybe I should get rid of a barn at this point. Because my whole barn strategy didn't work out too well. What the hell's everybody doing? They're just chilling, being all social and happy and whatnot. Get back to the fields! All right, so yeah, Operation Flax was a success somewhat, but um, not as successful as I hoped for. So we are going to destroy this because I need room for my stable for my new four-legged friends. Goodbye! Well, this is a daily thing at this point. My, my kingdom is literally crumbling every day. It's kind of sad. I was hoping it would stop sooner or later, but I think at this point, it's just gonna be an everyday thing until I upgrade these places. Oh, look, we have more that I have to repair. What are you doing, man? Whoa! Actually kind of scared me with those movements there, bud, but, um... I don't know where your mom is. I don't know where everybody is. Oh my god, those are broken too. I'm getting overwhelmed already, and we haven't even gotten to the new stuff. Hello! Just trying to fix your house. Uh, what the hell was that noise? Oh, it's my pig running. God, that scared me. I thought something was attacking me. I mean, the pig could attack me. All right, but yeah, let's get into this. So we should have Cowstead Stable. That's what we need. Not enough technology in farming. I'm not even close. <laughs> Gotta be honest, considering I have, you know, a flax empire, I thought I'd be a little better at farming. But surprisingly, um, I'm not so good. But I have figured out a way to grind XP. Now, it's, it's not a fast way. But basically, you can build fields for free, so you just destroy the field, and then build another one, and then make about 40,000 hoes, and we can slowly gain XP by plowing the field. And I, I mean it's really slow. So we're at 15, 15.1. Let's check what one does. 0.3. So 0.2 of a point <laughs> every time I click. And I need to get... 3,500. So that's 17,000 of these if I wanted to get all my XP by doing just this. Now, obviously, I'm going to get my nation to farm throughout the seasons as well. But, oh, this is... I mean, getting steeds in this game is not easy. But somebody's got to do it, so I'm going to do it, damn it. What the hell, man, Amir? This is my job! This is m What are you doing? Oh my god, why'd you come over here? Anyways, the nightmare of ho slaying continues. Um... Bad news, ladies and gentlemen. Well, good news, kind of. As you can see by my needs in the status window over here, fertilizer no longer comes out of my employees' butts. So, I actually have to make the fertilizer to make the flax. I was truly excited to, uh, stop my nightmare of, you know, just plowing fields. <laughs> but now we need fertilizer, so that means I'm not going to get much flax this year. I just, uh, used all my manure, and let's see how they're doing here. We have the smallest amount of flax over here. Please tell me there's more. I haven't been paying attention. Don't know why they haven't fertilized that field, or planted that field, rather. We have this one, this one... What the hell is going on here, guys? That's it? That's literally it. So, I don't think I should really be making a flax empire anymore. By the way, I took away all the um, fields over here so we can expand out with some more homes and whatnot later on. Um, and I, they can't do all these fields anyways. They definitely can't do all these fields now that we need manure. So, I either got to uh, go crazy with the pigs. I was hoping they would breed pigs. <gasps> Talk about timing. Okay, clearly I haven't been paying attention much to my uh, civilization. That's a new pig. It's a piglet. So they did actually work. So yeah, I've been putting them on animal husbandry for that reason. Do we have any more piglets? You guys did it. You guys got another one as well. Okay, so this is great. We got a female and male. We also have our old male and old female. So that's four pigs now. That means more poo-poo for the fertilizer for next season at least. So yes, in terms of where we are though, we're getting close. 4,164. Definitely them just plowing the fields is, is helping a little bit as well. 
Um, so I'm thinking maybe one or two more seasons of this this chaos and then we might actually get our noble steed The steeds better be friggin worth this cuz I I have done nothing but this for the last two hours and um, You start to lose your mind when all you're doing is this and you're dealing with this constant stamina loss It's so friggin annoying. Are you are you doing the fields that I already did? You ass! The, go do- actually, keep doing that, because I get XP by you doing it as well. I'll just go to this side, goddammit. Ah, looks like my guy's playing the scythe flute once again. This is the final little bit. I've been scared to look at my XP, because I know I'm gonna have to do more here. That was, like, the worst harvest ever. So yeah, the whole flax idea is killed with this new update. I don't even care about flax right now, I'm just hoping- Okay, that's not awful. They gave me, like, 300 points. <laughs> Oh, I still got so much to do though. So that gave us uh, a grand yield of 210, which is freaking nothing. I'm so sad. Manure is so important, guys. I got 84 more manure, so maybe next season will be okay because now we got four pigs. Um, this is just sad though. I, I, I miss when my peasants would poop out their own manure. Well, I have to be honest, this was, this was not fun. I've done a lot of very boring things for the sake of a video. Um, but plowing one field about you know, at least 200 plus times, not uh, the definition of fun for me. Oh, you, come on, how close am I? I, I was two points! Oh, I don't want to ever see a hoe again after this. In all seriousness, though, it didn't actually take as long as I expected. You know, when you're doing this all day, every day, you know, things kind of go quick. Oh, I've never been so happy to see something in my life. But yeah, it's um almost winter again, so what, a year and a half it took me? <laughs> Just imagine some guy plowing fields for a year and a half, only to delete them and replow them. That's the definition of insanity right there. All right, but now how, let's get some freaking horses here. These little pigs are so damn cute as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to build this. It'd be nice if this would fit here. It's it's kind of sinking into the ground though. I don't think it's gonna fit there. This is this is big. Then again, horses are big, so I don't know why I'm questioning that. I guess I'll just have to put it over here somewhere. Oh, well, I guess it's going here. I- I don't care anymore. I'm- I'm grumpy at this point. Um, okay. We need lots of logs, planks, and whatnot. Okay, so we'll go get this done real quick. And then we gotta figure out where the hell the horses are. Alright, gotta be honest, the, uh, horses might have the best building in this whole place. It took, as you can probably tell, a lot of freaking logs. This took me the longest to build. But, they should be happy. And hopefully we'll be able to ride them well. That sounded wrong, but yeah, you get the idea. This thing actually is pretty cool because it's actually got stables, as you can see. So I'm assuming we can have four horses in this. I should also mention everybody's been getting frisky in the neighborhood now. Um, so that's fantastic. I have four mothers right now, and the vast majority are kids over here. So yeah, I have no workers. I... <laughs> Not that I need them right now, thankfully, but it all happened in the same year. There is five kids, including my good old Lubart, uh, running around here now. It feels weird. All right, as you can see, it is winter time, and that means it's horse time. Yeah, I had to wait a day, because we have to go all the way down to Hornica. Um, that's where the steeds are, so I thought instead of going in the middle of the night, we'd wait a full day here. So how are we doing for food? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, that's not good. All right, we still have some meat with gravies, but honestly, I haven't been focused too much on my people for obvious reasons. I care more about my horse. Just make sure they're doing okay for food. Yeah, we used to be at almost 4,000, so we definitely got to focus on the food again, but I do have lots of wood, so that's good. All right, so now down south to some place we rarely ever go to because it's so far away, and uh, yeah, we'll grab a horse. Hopefully. God, I didn't even think about that. Can I afford one? Ah, good old Hornica. Where are your steeds at? Ah, uh, this is honestly like the prettiest city. They're doing so well over here. Even my city looks bad compared to these guys. Is this new? <gasps> there they are! What? Did that door just get possessed? Okay, I'm really glad I have... Oh god, I don't have... I, I paid my taxes. No, I... I uh... <laughs> I'm so close. Okay, what happens if I sell some stuff? Mayor, please? 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 I just want to sell to this guy! Sir, your horses are blocking the way. There we go. Okay. Oh, crap. That's right. I need a saddle as well. And horseshoes. Okay, you know what? I was going to sell my clothing, but 
I think that's an awful idea considering it's winter. Um, we're not gonna get the horses yet. I gotta get back and play with my flax a little bit so we can make some money. Okay, day later and 588, that's not enough. Oh my God, am I not gonna have enough money? Um, I'm just gonna sell this extra flax, flax stock, flax grain. Okay, that's all of his money. Now I got 10,610. Should have checked how much the saddle and everything was. I think it was like 500. So I might just have enough money when I sell this flax here. Uh. Okay, I understand, like, protesting that your house has a hole in it, but goddamn, dude. That's taking it a bit too far. I, I shall repair the homes. Just let me buy my damn horse. Watch him raise the price or something like that. Ah, oh, man, I've been getting un unlucky this whole damn day. So we got a stallion male, a mare female. I guess I could have bought a little horse, but honestly... Then I'd have to wait for it to grow up. I think I'm gonna buy this male right now. Um, manage assessment. Yes, assign animal. Okay, there we go! Yes! Oh, man, that's exciting. Okay. Now I just need a female, and then I can make little horses and probably get rich. I wonder if you can sell the animals. So, yeah, that was a recent update, by the way. That's why I have little pigs. Um, now animals can have babies, which is pretty cool. All right, so we got um, the horse saddle. That's something I'm definitely going to need. Oh, I still have... Oh, no, he's got that much money. I have 256. God damn it. Well, I brought my bucket to sell, so that's exciting. I guess I'll sell some iron arrow. Ah, man, I'm not gonna have enough money. I think the one thing I should probably get is horseshoes to reduce stamina consumption while horse galloping. Yeah, that makes sense. So the saddle bag is a second inventory. Um, I guess the, th the 300 one I might be able to afford if we go crazy here. Oh, we can definitely sell that wooden hoe. I never, I never want to deal with those things again. Why do I have two shovels? Um, yeah, there's actually not much in here to earn some money, so I don't want to get rid of my iron items or my clothing. So, I think we'll come back for the saddlebag. We shouldn't need it anyways, but honestly, that's going to be a really good item. I just, unfortunately, got poor again, so it's very easy to get poor in this game when you're buying animals, goddammit. Okay, I'm so excited. Where is he? Where's this? There he is. He's on the other side, the cooler side. Okay, now open saddlebag. You don't have one. Please don't poop on me. Um, oh. Okay, so the w wait. Where am I storing the items? If he doesn't have a saddlebag, you know what? I don't want to know. Let's let let let's not think about that. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so I got it. Now, how do I put your little shoes on, my dude? Can be crafted by the smithy or bought. So I don't know how to put them on them though. All right. Well, we don't need them. What, what if I just throw them in here again? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. I don't think they're on them, but I don't care. I just want to mount this guy. <gasps> oh, it's first person too. And see how this is. All right, back up, buddy. Oh, are you not impressed, mere peasants? Where the hell are all my, all my people so I can show off how great I am? Holy crap, this was the hardest thing I ever, I've ever gotten to get. Hey, kid. You're the only one who's ever outside. Can I run you over? No, I can't seem to run him over. That's too bad. Okay, so I see at the bottom left we have uh, a health bar as well as a stamina bar for him. I do have to feed this guy and give him time to rest. I just want to see, does he have a gallop? Yes, he does. This is so much faster. This is actually great. I got to say, I didn't know how this would be when it actually was implemented, but this feels great. Like, this is a really well done horse riding mechanic. Um, it's actually a little hard to control, as a horse should be. And yeah, this is just going to be great for getting around because I obviously edit out a lot of the uh, going around in this game. But it is a lot of what you do in this game is travel. So it might be an expensive upgrade, but I think it's one that's going to be worth it. I'm going to head over to, what's this town called? Rolnica, we have a quest we got to do here. I'm thinking it's Unigas story. I still haven't done that. I've had it for like two years now. So I wanted to get my horse first because we're gonna do it. Need to do a, lo a lot of traveling. And uh, yeah, we, we may as well test out this horse now and see if we can get part of this quest done. God, I feel like such a badass now, just rolling up on these peasants without their cool horses. Don't run into my horse. Excuse me. That that was mighty rude. Now how do I get off this thing? D mount. There you go. Good job, horse. You're a good boy. I, I really wish I could pet him. Ah, there she is. Uniga sends me for the taxes. That was like two years ago, by the way. But perhaps I should talk to your father. Um, no, he was right. I take care of that in our family. See my father. He probably forget he paid already. And then end up with double taxes next year. And your mother? She takes care of father and has the last say in everything. However, I take care of the stash. <laughs> okay, this is a weird family. Unfortunately, it is as light as the feathers of my chickens. Okay, so wait, you're you're saying you're poor. And pigs, did you know that pigs 
can be almost as smart as humans. Where are we going with this, Ermina? And when I take a look at the people in the tavern at night, I bet even smarter. Well, at least you're as smart as my pigs. Um, I will pay, but I'll need your help first, of course. There's a lone wolf in the west of the mountains. He might have been hurt by an arrow in the past or been evicted from his pack, but he's getting more and more dangerous. So wait, I'm just here to collect your taxes and you're making me do stuff. Okay, I don't think I have to do it. I just, whoa, hello, Jesus. I just had to talk to that lady, but yeah, let's get home. I just wanted to more test out my horse than anything else. We'll definitely do a, a lot of the quests in the next episode because there's a lot of them we need to do, but it's getting dark out and I need to get home so my horse doesn't get spooked. I don't know if they do get spooked. But I do know he needs rest, so I'm assuming at, at nighttime he should be home. All right, let's just turn on the light. Oh, this is so great. Honey, honey, I'm home on my horse. Oh, I can't get in, I'm, I'm too tall. All right, horse, I guess you gotta stay outside, buddy. Please stay home. What are you doing, Inga? What are you doing out in the middle of the night? Are you cheating on me? Because, like, what else would you be doing? I'm so confused. All right, well, it's bedtime. That was a quick sleep. Let me make sure. Uh oh, please don't tell me my horse right away. That would be the. That would be one way to end this. After you know a full day of working, no, he automatically goes home because he's a good horse. So yeah, I, I need a bit of a break, guys. That was the hardest episode yet, but we got one of the coolest creatures working with us now, a horse. And uh, yeah, now I'm not so stressed when it comes to traveling because now I got my my sidekick here to help me out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy checking out the new major update into Medieval Dynasty. It was a hard one to get to, but uh, I think it'll be worth it in the future. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.